Okay, before we move on to this song setup page, I just want you to double check that you have gone through and changed all these settings uh, in the preferences menu that we were just talking about. If you haven't done that, stop the video now, go back and change those settings over because all that will be important to making sure that what you see on my screen when I'm working is the same that you see on your screen. Okay, so starting here in the general section, we've got mostly the same stuff that we saw in the song creation page when we first created this session, like sample rate, resolution. We've got a couple options here that apply to uh, using video in Studio One, and the time base which we've used, oops, sorry, put that back to bars, and the song start and end, nothing to worry about there. The creator of the song and the generator, which is which version of Studio One you're using. Remember I talked about this setting, stretch audio files to song tempo. You wanna have that checked. Include effects when updating mastering file. This doesn't apply to us at all right now, but just leave it at its default. And let's move on to meta information. If you recall, when we were first looking at the start page, I had uploaded a um, piece of art here, which was the Lydian logo. I put in my name, my genre, and then uh, we've got a year, which is just by default 2017. That's when I'm recording the video and the website. But if you wanted, you could put in a whole lot of other information here. And this is going to get put into the file once you export your finished song. Now we're a ways away from that, but this is kind of cool. So instead of having to do it later, we could do it all right now as we're working. And then when we make our final export, we will have a file that has all of this meta information encoded into it. So when you load it into like your phone or iTunes or anywhere, basically it will show up with the title of the song, uh, your name or whatever you want to go by, the album, if you have an album it's part of, and all this kind of stuff is going to be encoded into your song. Moving over to the audio I.O. setup, and this is the most important part of this uh, page, of the song setup menu. And really this is only applying to people who are using audio interfaces. There is a couple things that you can think about if you've just used the built-in input, but mostly this applies to using um, audio interfaces. You can see here I've got my picture of my interface. I'm on the inputs tab. So this is all the different inputs that are available to my audio interface, different ways to get audio into it. So I've got a um, two microphones in the front of it. Input left, which you can see as I speak, that's the microphone I'm using right now. This level is going up and down. And I've got another microphone that's off to the side of me in the room that's picking up stuff, but I'm not using it. And then it's got a combination of the two. If I wanted to record something in stereo, remember stereo means where the left speaker and the right speaker have different audio coming out of them. So I could use two microphones, one for the left speaker and one for the right speaker to record something simultaneously. If I wanted to, I could add a mono input or add a stereo input or remove them um, to access more of these inputs or different combinations of them. It's a bit beyond what we're doing right now, but this is where you find it in case you need to do anything like that. And in the output section, this is detailing how you are hearing what's coming out of Studio One. Now, if, you've got, if you're using a built-in output, you've probably only got one option, so it's pretty easy. For myself, with the audio interface I have, I have a number of ways to listen to what's going on inside Studio One, and I'm just listening through my main out left and right. That's main output left, main output right. And again, I have some options to create a mono output, stereo output, remove them, uh, make them the default output. And then this one down here is important if you're using an audio interface of some sort you can set which output you're gonna audition your loops and sounds and things with. So that will make sense when we start using the browser over here. Um, but if in the future you're trying to hear some loops in here and you're not hearing anything, that's probably because your audition setting is not set to the right output. So that's it for the song setup page. And um, that's it for this whole window altogether. So we can close that, head back to our session, and I'll see you in the next video.